Hey everyone, welcome to Mr. Yu's Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the highly anticipated film Avengers Endgame. This film follows what is left of the Avengers after the end of Infinity War, Thanos snapped his fingers and half of the universe just disappeared. And in this film, they are trying to cope with what happened and are trying to find a way to avenge the fall. Now since I'm a huge fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I was really excited for this film, especially since it's being called the finale of the first 11 years of these films. And my expectations were really high and the film exceeded them. This film was really amazing. First of all, let's start off with the acting. Now for all the heroes who are still alive, uh, their actors come back to portray them and they are all great as always. But one actor who I feel like really stood out in this film and the past 11 years was Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. He was the actor who started off this whole saga um, 11 years ago in 2008 with the first Iron Man. And he brings something so great to the character. He brings heart to the character. And when you look past these, you know, f from Iron Man 1 to this film, you see a big character arc, which couldn't have been done if Robert Downey Jr. wasn't so committed to this character. Um, and But that's not to say that the other actors were bad. You, know, you have Chris Evans, who is also very committed to playing Captain America and he does a good job as well. Um, there's a lot of actors, they all did a good job. Yeah, Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, Chris Hemsworth as Thor. Um, there's a lot of actors, but one I feel like really stood out was Robert Downey Jr. Now I'd like to talk about the villain of this film, and um, it was shown in the special look that was posted on YouTube. So, and it was, they, Marvel themselves posted it, so it's not a spoiler, but it is uh, Thanos again. And Josh Brolin as Thanos, um, I think he was really made for this character. I love his voice, I think it fits uh, Thanos very well, and um, Josh Brolin, I think he did some motion capture, so he was great with that, you could kind of see the movements and they flowed well. Um, which has to do with the visual effects as well. But that's really all I can say. Um, and as I say again, Josh Brolin, he made Thanos my favorite villain in the MCU. So props to him. Now let's move on to the story of this film. And it is so unpredictable. I'm not going to spoil anything. But, I mean, lots of things happen that, you know, if you followed some set pictures, you kind of know what's going to happen, but you don't know how they're going to happen. And there was lots of things that were just so surprising. Um, and I can't really say it, but I just really loved it. And it really, that's something that was part of the film exceeding my expectations. Um, and I just love that about this film. Now, although this film is probably like the darkest MCU film, or at least one of the darkest, there is still lots of humor that comes in play and it kind of, it's good to have that humor to kind of counterbalance the darkness of the film at times, um, so it won't be too sorrowful. Um, so I really like the humor, especially between many characters, um, that was really great. Also. The visual effects in this film were phenomenal, especially towards the end of the film, um, like the third act, which was amazing, amazing, if, if you followed all of these films. Um, it's such a satisfying ending, but anyway, the visual effects come in play, and they were mostly seamless. Sometimes you could see a little bit like, oh, that's visual effects but they were mostly seamless and that helped, you know, make the film more believable. And I love that. 
Now I only have one flaw with this film, and it brought the film down just a little bit for me. And um, it was like during the first hour of the film, something happens to a character, and you're supposed to just accept it. There's no reasoning to why, how, or how that thing happened. Um, and that was something that kind of bothered me throughout. It was like in my mind uh, throughout the film. But that's really my only flaw throughout this three hour film. <laughs> all in all, Avengers Endgame was an extremely satisfying conclusion to the Infinity Saga in the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, all the acting was great, uh, the story was unpredictable, and even at times when you do predict something, they add something to make that unpredictable, which was great. Um, I thought the villain Thanos was very menacing, Josh Brolin did a great job, and I liked the dark tone of the film, with also the added humor to kind of counterbalance that. Um, and I think the third act, the ending of this film, was really just, it, it is a dream come true if you followed uh, these films for the last 11 years. Just one, just that one flaw um, was what brought the film down a little bit and that was just something happens that you're just supposed to accept and you don't see how it happened. Um, but that's all. Uh, I really, I, lo I love this film, and that's why I give Avengers Endgame an A. I really recommend Avengers Endgame, especially if you followed um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe and you've really enjoyed it, because this film really puts a satisfying conclusion to this saga. And as always, don't forget your popcorn! Until next time, from Mr. You to you, stay tuned.